We're in Bologna, baby, the capital of the Emilia Romagna destination, region, whatever you well want to call it. It's the home of the Tagliatelle, home of the Bolognese, so we're definitely going to be getting that in the bones a little bit later in the vlog. We're going to be taking you to all the key sites, the key historic places, and obviously beautiful piazzas just like this. And obviously, of course, if me and the king are involved, it's going to be a food and drink tour, coffee, brunches, best sandwiches, some food, some wine, some beers, and everything in between. Your boys on the road to the thigh subscribers, do me a favor, hit the button down below. And without further ado, let's get cooking. Stop number one of the day, Mortadella Lab. Serious setup in there, silly amounts of meat, loads of people working. It opens at 12 to 4, closes and opens again at 7 at night. We got there about 5 past 12. There was about 30, 40 people in the queue in front of us. We've gone for one of the classics, obviously. Silly amounts of Mortadella. We've gone for the Bratta. It's got like uh, the basil oil in the mix as well. Should I give this a bite? It always never ends well on camera when I, uh, when I bite something, but we'll give it a go. That's an absolute joke. Anything with burrata is always gonna be a straight 10 out of 10 for me. But yeah, gonna get the mix in here. It's like five euros 50 for a sandwich. When it's that size, you probably wanna share one onto the markets very, very shortly. <laughs> 10 minute walk from the Mortadella sandwich shop. We're at Mercato di Muzi, something like that. I'll whack it on the screen now. Nice little setup in here, you can get wine, beers, craft beers, uh, mini pizzas, nice little sandwiches. Obviously, we went for the fan favourite. We've gone for spinach and ricotta with the ragu sauce on top, so hopefully being the home bit, it's going to be an absolute banger. I'm not sure if you can see, if not, I'll overlay a clip of it. The queue here is massive, so it's about 10 minutes to order and about a further 15 minutes, five minutes. Your pasta comes, however, me and the king, obviously, got a nice little pint of spritz get that in the bone give a little taste test it's got to be unbelievable right one bite it's gonna be hot it's spinach and ricotta so it's probably all in my teeth hence why i'm covering my mouth it's an absolute banger it is a banger can't wait for the king to try this in the market for some more drinks and coffee very shortly but yeah worth the wait for sure so we've got some food in the bones obviously now need to get some caffeine to absolutely take this day to the next level a lot of research on the strict authority Apparently this place, Cafe Trezzi, I think it's called, is the best coffee in Bologna. So hopefully it's good. We did order two cappuccinos after 12 o'clock. And I was like, oh, we're going to order them quietly. And they went, oh, we'll give you a shout when it's done. I thought they were going to be like, oh, your cappuccinos are ready. And they just shouted, two cappuccinos. The whole place is turned right. We're looking like absolute tourists. But the show must go on. Taste test for the boys. It's a banging bit of coffee, banging bit of kit. No sugar needed in that. Nice little water. Probably if you're having an espresso, you need that. But yeah, you're in a little hit of caffeine, and it's not a monster. Cafe Tracy, place to be. Sightseeing in Bologna might be the easiest walk you'll ever do. So obviously you've got the two towers here, maybe one of the best films of all time, and then flip right into this side here, find some Neptune, and then we're going to yeah, take you on a little journey past, go close and personal, see what it's all about, and then yeah, go around the corner to the main piazza and basilica. Um, but yeah, anywhere where the sun's beating down, anywhere with a flare, bit of architecture, we'll get amongst it, get a few JPEGs and see what it's saying. As always, G-Dubs make some mistakes so you don't have to. Rocked up here and I was like, it looks awful lot like Poseidon. Just had a little Google Maps. Yeah, no, it's not the Phantom Neptune at all. But yeah, flare little bloke rigged up. Got his old boy out. Needs to get a bit of blood in that. But yeah, the king shot going for an up close and personal, getting the JPEGs going. But yeah, Phantom and Neptune coming up very shortly. That may be the Phantom Neptune. We're not too sure. It looks like it's on a corner on maps, but we're going to roll with it for now. We're in at Plaza Maggiore, the main square. Just flare architecture, left, right, and centre. And this bad boy here, I mean, tell me you've got a big John Dory without telling me you've got a big John Dory. What a naughty bit of kit. Loads of the spots all around these little side streets, bars, uh, places to get food. All that kind of good stuff. 
stuff. We're going to be in the market for a little gelato next. And all these little um, bits here uh, are called like porticos and like the whole of Bologna. It's like 40 kilometers squared of all these, which all connect. Um, and yeah, just make it look pretty top draw, to be honest. So if you want to get in the shade, like the ginger and the northerner, you can do. You want to be in the middle of the sun, getting your JPEGs, getting your vitamin D, you can also can do. So yeah, this is probably the best building. Nice little bloke in the backdrop, playing a bit of the old guitar. Um, but yeah, probably in the market for a little bit of gelato very, very shortly. Team have rocked up to the Twin Towers. Built by something like 14th century families who got a bit of item. Check the, the lean on that. 7.5%. The king has just said to me, which one can you climb up? What are your thoughts on that, Em? Now you say it, yeah, but I just wanted the one with the less. <laughs> <laughs> and we wanted the one with the less steps that is absolutely leaning tower of Bologna um, it's five euros per person to go up um, I've seen it's pretty naughty views on top I think it's 597 steps and you need to book in about well, two three hours in advance we just turn up now and yeah it's a, it's a three hour wait so I think after a few a few more BORs we'll probably give it a miss but yeah if you're looking for a nice little panoramic view over the whole of Bologna that's the highest point definitely don't fall in the king's one looking for the short steps because yeah, you'll be uh, you'll be wonky without the beers. So the team have just been to a little unique bar. Would you say, Em? Yeah, called really called cool. Bar Sensor. Basically, all the people in there are, are hearing impaired. So when you go in, lovely little setup, nice little mezzanine um, up at the top, and then a nice little courtyard out the front. Um, and then basically, if you want to order a Aperol Spritz or you want to order a beer, it shows you how to order it in sign language. Uh, mine was pretty easy because I had a draft beer, which was like this. Emma's was a little bit more challenging, giving a few of these for the Hugos, which was incredibly strong. Um, but yeah, flare little bar, the beer was top draw, um, and yeah, we're on a little pub crawl, bar crawl, walking down all the little side streets of Bologna now, just off the, the main square, um, but yeah, everywhere so picturesque, flare architecture, walking with the king, looking a million dollars. <laughs> See you in the next one. Walking down all these flare little side streets, this is where you stumble across naughty little gaffs like this. La Proschettiera, hopefully I pronounced that right. Super, super nice inside. Really, really friendly staff. Check the seating that me and the king have got. <laughs> Look at this. They've got chairs made for Emma. Absolutely love to see it. Ice cold glass of rosé. Go on, give us a little taste test. From the connoisseur. Mm -hmm. Very good, nice, very nice and dry. Good bit of kit. It's ice cold, it's dry. That's all the king needs. But yeah, flare little seating. Naughty little setup inside as well. say it before and I'll say it again get off the beaten track walk up down the little side streets little piazzas and you turn up to top draw little places like this five euros for a glass of ice cold wine you've got the king there middle of the screen charing dime on the little crisp again what the UK needs to take a little little tip from a little bit of something a little crisp little chips little something to knob on as you go but yeah lovely little setting ice cold glass of rosé flowing as always super super friendly and yeah, get yourself off the main roads and get yourself into the more local places. Things you love to see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Cheers now, baby. Team, touchdown. Another spot on the Bologna pub crawl, beer crawl. That's what the section of the vlog's going to be. We're in jukebox cafe. They do have a jukebox, so aptly named. Pretty dark and dim in there, to be honest, but it's kind of like your Manchester brewery craft ale scene. Picked a beer right, went for the went for the pale ale. Didn't even know it's actually from Manchester. So shock. We're picking the good ones. The king, as always, on a nice cold, cold glass of rosé. Probably our most expensive drink. It was like uh, it's not rosé. I can't speak. She's shaking her head behind the camera. I am a little bit colourblind. She's on. The, she's on the white wine. That is a large. So yeah. And G Dobbs on a pale ale. We've got the bells in the background. I said, could you play it halfway through the just the the segment, just to bring out that real just authenticity to the vlog. It's just you know what we do. You know what we do. Give a little taste there. 
serious bit of kit. The IPAs are flowing, the wines are flowing, the white wines, not the rosés. One little other thing, not really a tip, just a bit of insight. There's just no rosé. If you want rosé, you're in the wrong spot. Don't come to Italy. The king knows that she's nodding ahead behind the camera. The beers are going to be flowing a little bit quicker. Might even get the king to do a little shot or something at some point. We'll see how we go, but we might need another little nibble very shortly. Cheers. Team are back at the markets. We came here seven hours ago. Beers have been flowing, cocktails have been flowing. However, we just wanted a little, little something, something. And we thought, you know what? We'll come back and we'll go for the Taglatelli Bolognese. This has got to be the best one of the day. Originated from here. A little tip which we didn't do before, get two of these so you can both get in the mixer together. Obviously, if you're sharing, both on a little one of these. Cheers to the king. And yeah, hopefully it's a banger. Should have opened this first. We go, we go, we go. He said, do you want Parmesan? I said, is the Pope a Catholic? Obviously. That could be all of my shirt. Taglatelli banger. Very meaty, very cheesy, very delicious. Cheers now. Wipe that in there. Team landed. New, new lounge bar, cocktail bar. Not really sure what it is. They brought us crisp, so one point. They brought us these naughty little olives, two points. They brought us these, what looked like unbelievably flair espresso martinis. Can you just tell me why I've got, <laughs> why I've got a leaf in my drink? Leave that out of there. Just a shit joke for me then, okay? We'll give a little. Maybe the worst. I can't tell you whether it's the best or the very worst. I feel as if when me and Emma used to try and make espresso martinis, this is what we used to get, potent with alcohol, but like they don't have that like frothy bit at the top, which gives it like the real flavor, the cooler, the coffee sort of stuff. So I actually think it's pretty mid and also the most expensive drink we've got today. So double negative. I'll be keen to see what the king thinks in a week, in a second, sorry. Beautiful little scenery behind you. I'll overlay something now. Nice little bar area, a little like um, arches, piazza, candlelit, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, you come in with your significant other. It's a good spot. Espresso martinis, mid-level for me. Another little food stop, Vessia Mal... Malga? Next to, next to the main square, just on this side. Just next to the markets, just a little pit stop, nothing too offensive, it's all very light. King, get a little close up. Obviously, G Dubs on a little tortellini with a little bolognese, little top draw. Emma, I'm calling you right now. Look at what the king has ordered, right? We're in a restaurant in Italy. We talk about getting the gains in, and she's gone pure ham. And they went, hey, oh, wait, do you want anything with it? Like bread, whatever. And she goes, no. We made a lot of cap. We may also have ordered four cappuccinos past 12 o'clock. Absolutely booting off. We've gone for. We, Emma goes, oh, I'm going to get an Aperol spritz. I went, I'll get a wine. All he of a sudden. Two shock, I'm a legend. Because it's just about time we kick things up. It smells delicious. Very good. Tortellini, bolognese. It's the home again. It's got to be good, right? The best one so far. The best one so far by a country mile. When we talk about ratios of Parmesan, we'll get that in the mixer very shortly. The wine's delicious, the king looks delicious, the bolognese delicious. Get yourself in the mixer. Boom, Bologna, food, drink, culture, tour, wrapped up, zipped up, sent straight to the goo like baby. A couple of bullets in there. You already know the vibe. Okay, so best pasta was the spinach and ricotta bolognese sauce from the market delicious best beers not too sure drank a lot of white wine today so i'd probably go for the prosciutto place i'll put the name on the screen now really really nice probably get a little prosciutto board i mean charcuterie board get that in the bones absolutely banging the last place we went to which you've just seen was banging but it's the only place that literally charged us service and they literally went to there so other than that 
they are getting sent straight to the goo like baby Emma King needs to hold her hands just a little bit higher overall Bologna you probably want to spend a day day and a half two days absolutely max here it's a beautiful city lots of culture lots of architecture probably say that's about as much time as you want to see your boy is on a road to thank subscribers do me a favor hit the button down below and remember chef's always cooking baby Whew.